right, hello everybody. Um, hope you're doing well. So this week, there's really not too much to talk through. The biggest thing we'll be talking through the new song, which is Holy Forever. Um, I've tagged that chorus and bridge a few times. Um, we've done it, well, I've tagged it a good bit on Wednesday night, so students will know it for sure. Um, anyways, but this week we'll start with a typical countdown, and then from there, uh, Jimmy, if you don't mind welcoming us, and then we'll jump right into Lord, I Need You, playing the song in B-flat. And so verse one will be Jimmy. We'll come in on that first chorus with him, staying in through verse two. Second chorus, that whole bridge will be him. And then we'll be in um, after that and then really until the end of the song. So from there, um, we will not have a like cross fade or automated fade because Jesus, we love you. Um, that count ends pretty quick and we're changing key. So Dana, I want to make sure that there's enough time for you to both hear the key, but also get ready for the count in. Um, and so what we'll do is, Lord, I need you will end. I will establish the key in D um, and just kind of like play some, make sure you're good to go. And then from there, um, we'll play and you'll hear first, two, three. Old things have passed. So past always sits on that one. Um, so I know that count is always a little tricky, but that's what it is. Verse two, three, old things have passed away. Um, and then from there, the song just kind of goes. Um, so verse one will be Dana, and then pre-chorus will be her as well. And then we'll come in on the first chorus with Dana. And then really being in until the first bridge. That first bridge will just be Dana. We'll come in on that second one. And then be in until the end of the song. From there, we'll jump into our scripture reading time. And then I'll probably also introduce the chorus. Um... So I just think that that would probably make the most sense. Um, and then I may, actually, I may start on the pre-chorus and then do the chorus. Um, I haven't exactly decided what I'll do yet, um, but no matter what, I'll introduce one, if not both of those. And it would be chorus one of, And the angels cry, holy. Um, yeah, but introduce holy forever. Um, and then from there, we will really just kind of jump into the song. Verse one, I'll take, um, and I'll take that first pre-chorus, and then from there we'll jump into chorus, verse two, second chorus, or the repeat of chorus one, chorus two, um, and then that pre-chorus two, um, I'll take, and then we'll do pre-chorus one together, and then really just be in until the end of the song. If it gets confusing, come in on the first chorus, and then just be in until the end of the song. Um, this chorus, or this chorus, the song has a lot of like, you do chorus one, and then you have chorus one, chorus two, pre-chorus two, pre-chorus one. Course, it, it goes a lot of back and forth. So really just listen to the song and kind of know kind of what's going on. Um, but yeah, that'll be Holy Forever. And then we'll jump into week three of our James series. And then when we come back up, Lindsay, you will lead us in Yet Not I, but through Christ in me. If you're looking at the core chart, um, it just shows things as verses and no choruses. But the chorus is all, always when we go into, to this I hold. Um, so yeah, so verse one will be Lindsay. We'll come in on the first chorus with her. To this I hold, my hope is only Jesus, for my life is wholly bound to his. Um, and then really, we won't be out until verse four. That'll just be Lindsay. With every breath, I long to follow Jesus. For he has said that he will bring me home. And then we'll come in on, in day by day. I'm really special on that day by day, that word of day will come in. Um, and then be in until the end of the song. Um, and then Lindsay, what we'll do is just go back to verse four and really just sing the song until it is like until the end. So for the offertory time, with every breath I long to follow Jesus, and then just play it out until the end of the song. And we'll do it as the song is kind of build it back up. I think that would be good. Um, but yeah, so that's it for Sunday. Um, listen to Holy Forever, that's the biggest thing. And then, obviously, the transition from Lord, I need you, into Jesus, we love you. We'll make sure that that is good to go for you, Dana. Um, but that's really all I can think of. So, that's it for vocals. Band, this is where you will start the video. Um, Chris, happy last rotation, at least like a normal rotation. Um, I'm sure it is very weird for you to think about that. Um, but this week, uh, we've got a new song. And so, that'll be the biggest thing we talk through. But up until then, we have usual countdown. Jimmy will welcome us. We'll jump into Lord, I Need You, doing this song in B-flat. And then we won't have any sort of automated or crossfade um, because we're going to be changing both keys and then the time signature and that count in until uh, Jesus, we love you so fast. So Lord, I Need You will end. I'll change capos and get us into the key of D. 
Um, and then from there, Sean, I'll look to you to start Jesus. We love you. So I'll do like a do. And then I'll look to you to start the click. And then we'll get into Jesus. We love you. I just want to make sure there's adequate time um, really for Dana's ear to hear the key change, but also to get ready for that count in since it is quick, um, but not changing anything different on that song. Just doing Jesus. We love you straightforward. Um, from there, we'll jump into our scripture reading time. So Moth, I would like to have you take the um, swells. That'd be great. And then um, I'm going to end up introducing more than likely both the pre-chorus and chorus. Um, and so I'll probably, I, I don't know which order I'll do that in yet, to be honest with you. I know it would make more sense to do the pre-chorus and then the chorus, but sometimes that pre-chorus actually kind of feels like a bridge a little bit. Um, all that being said, I'll decide that on Sunday morning, um, but I'll introduce just the pre-chorus and chorus of Holy Forever, and then we'll jump right into it, okay? Um, so the song map is actually at the top of that chord chart that is on, or that is attached, so if you look at that, you will find it. Um, just, you know, listen to the song. I mean, it, it's there like the song map is, but, you know, there's a lot of, like, verse 1, pre-chorus, chorus 1, verse 2, chorus 1, chorus 2, pre-chorus 2, pre-chorus 1. You know, it's a lot of that. So, you know, just make sure to practice the song and, and look at the um, chart, and you'll be just fine. Uh, but we'll go through that week 3 in James, and then when we come back up, we'll go into it, not I, doing the song just like the track. But I do want to make sure that when we get to verse 4, when it says, and day by day, that C, I want us to do what we typically do and just really hit that big, and day by day. Um, so both you and I will do that typical, like, <clears throat> kind of opposite strumming pattern, but really to where you hear each and every little string. Um, but you don't want to do it, you know, too slow, but, you know, you don't want it to be too quick either. I just think, you know, nice, <clears throat> kind of like that would be good. Um, Chris hitting a really, a really big, like, prominent C note would be great. Um and then we'll just build that up and then go in until the end of the song. And then what we'll do is we'll actually do something very similar to that, if actually the same exact thing. For the offertory, we'll start back on verse 4, with every breath I long to follow Jesus. And we'll just play the song like it is until the end of the time, not keeping that low or anything. We'll, we'll do the same thing in day by day and kind of let that be the driving factor um, of kind of how we build back up. So that is it for this Sunday. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you then.